Hello and welcome, Rangers. I'm Joe, here with me is my co Stan. Hello and greetings. And welcome to the Pink Ranger podcast. Yep, we're continuing this one. This time we're focusing on the nature of, of Kimberly's insecurities regarding Trini. And boy howdy, was this quite the issue for Kimberly to overcome. Given the nature of the insecurities and how profound they were, one could almost say that Kimberly might have been a little jealous by her very nature of Trini. And seems to have generally committed herself to gymnastics as her main passion in life for a time. And given her own undeniable beauty, it's hard to see why she would be insecure about Trini. But on the other hand, it's easy to see why. Because Kim's life's not exactly the easiest. It goes to show that even a very beautiful young woman could have her insecurities. The trouble with Kimberly was that, as seen in the flower episode, which is also the club activity episode, for example, she ends up stung with green-eyed jealousy she really does seem to an extent to believe that Trini almost does everything better out of spite almost like I'm not saying Kimberly is a naturally petty person just that she starts off a little more immature than some of the other rangers at least on an emotional level and this emotional immaturity is understandable considering she is a teenager but the beauty of Kimberly's character is that she grows out of it and she becomes such a strong confident young woman by the time of the movie at least and even by the time she departs. Trini though for her part seems to be genuinely flabbergasted by Kimberly's envy of her. and you know what you can see it from Trini's point of view. Kimberly is beautiful very popular with the boys it seems even if Kimberly does have a shy side towards guys. Kim is very physically active while Trini naturally draws people to her through gentleness and whatnot. Trini herself is an inherently passive personality, while Kimberly is more a go-getter and deep down an extrovert. They do complement each other. Kimberly doesn't seem to realize it initially. I think Trini kind of clues in, but it's this envy that is really kind of eating up Kimberly at the beginning from the inside out, I think. And so her attempt to rescue Tommy, I wonder if there was an internal element too, that in a way Kim wanted to redeem herself and rescue herself as well and prove she could save another soul, just as Trini so often does herself because Trini reaches out to people without a second thought because Trini truly is a good person even a great one now I've met women who are like Kim and I've met women who are like Trini and there are some things that both of them have over each other but when meeting someone like Trini there truly is something that brings a calm to you there's just something special so that no matter who you are you almost feel an envy towards them because they're just so calm and beautiful internally and you know it's always moving to be around them that's why i'm saying i'm not judging kim too harshly because i get it one factor that kim might feel jealousy towards trini is first off her home life essentially is still part of a nuclear family and trini also has cousins she's close to she has a family kim may have some family members but kim is essentially raising herself she is alone on that angle kim is truly adrift in life in a way and being adrift in life is very very easy to fall into there's something carl jung once said that if the way seems clear to you you're doing something wrong if the path forward seems hard and naughty, and I, when I say naughty, I mean like K-N-O-T-T-Y, and generally full of fog and a lack of clarity, you're doing it right. Life's not supposed to be clear. And that if it, it does seem clear, you're taking the easy way out. And, and there's a Japanese phrase, one of my friends, who's ironically a lot like Trini in personality, she told me that don't ever take the easy way out, choose a hard path. And when I said, well, that seems like a very Japanese philosophy, because she is Japanese. And you have her, yes, over here in Japan, we always say that. Take the hard road. Whereas if you choose the hard path, later in life, you'll find in, that life has become easy for you. You made the difficult decisions. You armored yourself with the difficult choices, in a way. It's a very fascinating Asian philosophy there. This is the situation I find that Kim's in. The path forward is unclear. And it seems like her every decision compounds things into a worse situation, in a way. That's not exactly the reality. She did end up making some easy choices. She made some hard choices. And ultimately, it's seems like at the beginning she's not sure of which way to go and that's very understandable. Trini seems like someone who knows the way forward. I can't help but think maybe to an extent life's gonna throw some hardballs at Trini soon 
But on the other hand, Trini is not someone who chooses the easy path. She chooses the hard path and still comes out on top, seemingly with ease. Not always. Because remember when Haley is kidnapped, she's panicking and she needs someone to calm her down. We, the audience, know that Trini, the way forward is not always clear for her. But the thing is, she has a core of strength. And I think deep down, Kim sees this and envies that core of strength. Because Kim thinks of herself as a weak person. You just mentioned, from Kim's point of view, Trini looks calm, then. Like, she has her life in order. But I also think, at the same time, there's a part of Kim that sees past that. No matter what, Trini always comes out looking stronger. This makes the relationship very, very fascinating between the two. It's not a clear-cut relationship. Ultimately, I don't think they're as close as Kim later is with Aisha, because it doesn't seem like Trini confides a lot of her inner self to Kimberly. And this might sound weird, but there is a bit of a distance between the two. And Trini, while she does seem to really care for Kimberly... The two do grow apart later on because Kim starts to grow and expand herself. But on the other hand, Trini is growing weary of the Power Ranger violence and whatnot. They kind of grow apart, I think. Ultimately, because Trini did not confide all of her internal self to Kimberly, you have this bond that I kind of feel like Kimberly's hungry for a female friend, for almost a twin sister. She doesn't find that in Trini. She finds that in Aisha, but I think Aisha was also in a similar situation as Kimberly Hart. So that the two naturally clicked together better because both of them are almost more similar in some ways. At her core, Trini is a Mr. Miyagi turned young and female, whereas Kimberly is more like Danny LaRusso in personality. So you have this relationship that helps them grow, and they do seem to be a positive influence on each other. I don't think Kim could have overcome half her insecurities without Trini being so patient. And I think that this was a good lesson for Trini in patience, because there are times she grows impatient with Kim, and even Balkan Skull. But as the season progresses, you see that she's growing in patience, despite the fact that she's growing tired of this Power Ranger life and this life of secrecy. They're a lot more interesting for this relationship. And while I prefer the Kim-Aisha sisterly bond, I have to admit that the Trini-Kimberly relationship is a very fascinating one. They ha both had to learn a lot from each other. She became who she was eventually. Yeah, who she was meant to be. And so Kim was then able to help Billy. I also think she was able to help Tommy. Because in some ways, this might sound weird, but I kind of think that another reason why Kimberly went for Tommy was that Tommy's a lot like, not only Billy, because we've commented on that, but like Trini. There's a Trini side to Tommy. So maybe this is why Tommy and Trini got along so easily. But on the other hand, why Kimberly was so hungry for Tommy's approval and for a bond with him. Because it had none of the baggage of the Trini-Kimberly relationship, but Tommy had all the virtues and also some of the passive side and whatnot of Trini. He's basically a male Trini. I don't know if that sounds weird or like it doesn't make any sense. But on the other hand, maybe Trini, it took a bit of the weight off her shoulders regarding Kimberly because you had Tommy to kind of mediate to an extent. Kimberly's insecurities is an important part of her personality. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like and that subscribe button as though you were Kimberly smash kicking an ooze monster into the ceiling. And remember, Rangers, may, may the, the power, power protect, protect you. you.